what Troy Reaver said about Kate Cunningham's injury. Now, before I get into what he exactly said, I want to kind of give you a little bit uh, of stats and things of that nature. Now, Kate Cunningham averaging since being drafted, he averages 17.8 points per game, 5.6 assists per game, 5.6 rebounds per game, 1.2 steals per game. Now, Kate Cunningham is one of seven players active roster averaging at least 15, 5, 5, and 1. Now, Kate return, he'll be leading a starting room. Now, I'm only going to just say the young players and Obviously, one of them got to prove that he's a starter. Uh, but the the starting lineup I have is Jaden Ivey, obviously himself, Kate Cunningham, Osser Thompson, Beef Stew, and Jalen Duran. Now, that is one formidable starting unit. Obviously, he has, you know, his veterans. Bojan's still on the roster. Alec Burks is still on the roster. Uh, Monty Morris that we just traded for. And, and things like that. But Troy Weaver, uh, yesterday during the Raptors and Pistons summer league game, he was asked about, you know, what is it like to, you know, have your set, have your first overall pick come back? And he said, uh, you know, he said he looked very, very strong this summer. We are very excited to have him back in our lineup and lead the troops. And, you know, obviously the troops being, like I said, Ivy, Cade, Osser, Beef, Stew, and Duran, and, you know, some of our veterans in second unit as well. But, you know, this team is really going to go on how Cade goes. And I'm excited. I'm excited to finally get Cade back. We definitely missed him. He was very well missed. Um, as we all missed our players, you know, this past season, I mean, we should have not been a 17-win team uh, because I feel that we have enough. You know, my personal opinion, I think we have enough to actually compete. You know, and I think now we have a perfect balance of young and old or veterans, as you want to call them. You know, I think we have that perfect balance. Obviously, you still got to make a couple more moves and, and things of that nature, but nothing major. Um, obviously if you could get, you know, a, a, a Cam Johnson or a Taylor or Tyler Hero, things of that nature, obviously, you know, that'd be a major move, but, you know, we'll see what we do here the rest of this off season. But as far as Kate Cunningham, man, I'm excited. You know, I, I just cannot say that enough is, you know, I'm excited about him. I think that, you know, this team, like I said, the, will go as Kate goes. And, you know, with all the injuries that we had, who knows where, where, who knows where we will be at or what our record would have been a year ago. So, you know, Greg Kelser kind of said something I seen on, on, I think it was YouTube or Twitter or something. Uh, and he was talking about, you know, hey, the state of the Pistons. And, you know, Greg Kelser, and I 100% agree with him, you know, I don't think we're going to be tanking anymore. I don't think we're going to be, you know, purposely losing games or, you know, faking losing, purposely losing games. Obviously, you know, that tanking does happen in the NBA. Um, and they that's why they try to limit, uh, you know, the, the that's why they have the draft lottery is because, you know, there is tanking and, you know, they don't want to be like, oh, well, if you tank this, that, the other, but so they want to try to hold the integrity of the game. But, you know, I think that the Detroit Pistons this year, I think we're going to go out there and try to win every game. I don't think we will win every game, but I think we'll actually try and compete and, and try to win games. You know, if it's a close game, I think we're going to be right there and try to steal it. Obviously, we still have to learn how to win. Uh, that's what happens with young teams. But I can say that the Detroit Pistons are 
where the Oklahoma City Thunder were a season ago. You know, they can make it to the play-in tournament. You know, do they make it to the playoffs? We don't know. It's it's possible because the East is still a little weaker than what the West would be. Like, if we were out in the West, I don't think we'll make the postseason. Uh, but here in the Eastern Conference, you know, there's a good shot. So, you know, we got to see if they can make the postseason this year. But, you know, none of that's possible without Cade Cunningham and and the health of this organization. Like, we have got to be healthy. You know, we miss Isaiah Stewart when he went down. I know you guys don't like him. I love me some Isaiah Stewart. The dude's a beast, and he's well-deserved his $16 million a year. And I'll debate, argue, or whatever it takes to prove it. And, hey, if you want to get on the channel, you as a viewer, let me know. We'll set something up. We can go live, have a debate, let the, let the community uh, decide. We'll have we'll have some fun with it. You know, nothing, not, nothing personal. You know, just, hey, let's have a good conversation, basically, is what that is. And, uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, you know, are you excited about Cade Cunningham coming back, you know, from his injury? Um, what do you expect from our Pistons coming up in 2023-2024 NBA season? What's your expectations? You know, definitely want to let let I would definitely want to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Go Pistons. Yes, sir. Peace. Hey, y'all already know success creates haters. So Hey, let's go, Cade. Let's go, Beef Stew.